All right, long before that, Christina has been a soldier, a warrior in the fight to keep San Francisco affordable. Part of that legacy has been to co-chair the Proposition L campaign, which bumped up San Francisco's minimum wage to one of the highest in the country. A lot of people talk about what they might do, what they think they should do, what they would do if asked. Christina does it and she's been doing it for the last 20 years. She's done it as an organizer, she's done it as a policy maker, and now she is doing it as your supervisor for District 5. And the landlords and the real estate agents and the developers, they're attacking her because of what she stands for and has stood for for the last 20 years. Are we going to let that happen? No! Are we going to let that go down? No! Here's the deal. We have two billionaires and their families who have poured over $100,000 over the last few days into a nasty, nasty, and misleading attack against Christina. It's America! They're pouring it on thick in the hope that they can buy the District 5 vote on the board. Yes, they can! Yes, they can! Yes, I can! Well, we have a message for the landlords, for the developers, for the speculators behind this campaign, and that message is, District 5 is not for sale. Yeah. Yeah. To Thomas Coates and to Ron Conway and family, it's going to take a lot more than an MC Hammer video this time around to sway the community. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce some folks who want to let you know what's at stake in this election. Don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. What's really at stake here is the majority on the Board of Supervisors that is going to fight for you. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Myrna Melgar. Hi folks, thanks for coming out on this beautiful day now. So uh, let me tell you a little bit why I'm here supporting my homegirl here, Christina Olagen. So I am a San Franciscan, I'm a Latina, I'm a woman of color, and a brown feminist, mother of three girls that I'm raising in the city. So I am here because I was an immigrant who came to San Francisco with my family with nothing in the 80s to the Mission District to a right control department. I am here today, all these years later, as a homeowner in San Francisco now because I was given opportunities that this city provides to all. We live in a diverse, wonderful, tolerant, open city and we're going to keep it that way. Yeah. So let me just make sure that I break it down for all of my sisters in the struggle, all the women who are raising children in San Francisco. Economics is the most important part of women's empowerment. Okay. Yeah. So rent control, housing costs are the number one thing that people cite when they say why they're leaving San Francisco. A white billionaire man does not have our economic interest in mind. Right. No billionaire is going to put your economic interest ahead of his own. Okay. So keep that in mind as you vote. We need rent control. We need opportunities for women. We need opportunities for children. We need somebody to understand what it's like to struggle, what it's like to be an immigrant, whether it's an immigrant from the South who came here to the Western Edition, to the Bayview, to the Mission, to Chinatown, somebody who understands what it's like to come with nothing. And Christina Olagi is that person. We need someone who also understands what it's like to be a policymaker who has been there through all these struggles, which in San Francisco are absolutely about real estate. They're about rising rents. They're about 
the escalating cost of land. I'm right. Chinese commissioner. <laughs> we didn't even say her name. Over and over, proved that she got it. She understood the interest. Uh, desperation comes in all forms. As a woman, yeah. as an immigrant, <laughs> as a mother in San Francisco, uh -huh. I need Christina Lai to keep representing my interests yeah, at the board of supervisors, yeah. and I, all, I urge you all it. to think, <laughs> to think about where this is coming from about what our future looks like in District 5 and in the city if we let them get away with pouring hundreds of thousands of dollars in this election and like buying your vote. Do not let them buy your vote. Thank you very much. Yeah.